What's up with YouTube fam, man? I'm back again with another video. Look, I want to start this out by letting y'all know I appreciate y'all for coming over here watching these videos with me on my channel because y'all don't have to, but y'all choose to. And I appreciate y'all for that real talk. But anyways, man, we're going to jump straight into the whole situation. Long story short, we got breaking news in the Young Dolph case. Uh, the authorities have found the vehicle that was used in the Young Dolph situation that happened the other day. I think a lot of people don't understand the severity of this. And like I said before, they're going to catch you did this because they were so sloppy. And you can tell that they didn't know what the hell they were doing. They just did anything just for the money, you know, because we already know it was a hit. But anyways, man, they done found the vehicle. And, uh, yeah, they're going to go fingerprinting. They're going to find some stuff that they weren't expecting to find. And it's going to be a break in the case real big pretty soon, I'm pretty sure, man. You know, and I, like I always say, bro, you know, a lot of times people that don't get caught, you know, for these type of situations end up just not going to jail because they were just blessed, you know. But yeah, like I always say, man, people who do stuff like this, man, ain't no good going to come to you. So yeah, it is what it is. I already knew that they was going to get caught. It is what it is. And it's just the beginning process, you know, because I'm pretty sure that this vehicle just wasn't found spontaneously. Somebody called in with a tip and whoever called in, I'm pretty sure said more than what they were supposed to say, if you know what I mean, you know. And I'm pretty sure somebody got ring cameras. It's so much shit that's going to go down with this whole situation. And it's crazy that they done found out so much so fast on the young dog situation. All these people have died in the past and have not been getting caught, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And this right here happening like clockwork. That's how you know Doc was a good person, man. You know what I'm saying? He took care of all these people and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so y'all already know, man. It was just destined for it to happen. But anyways, man, we're gonna go ahead and watch it. I'm gonna tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't wanna hear me talking, all you gotta do is get up off here and go find some words. It's so easy to go find, you feel me? If you're a loyal supporter of mine or if you're a new supporter, you just came across my channel today, all I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me, man. That's all I want y'all to do. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Add out my social medias in the comment section, my Facebook, Snapchat, my second YouTube channel that I'm gonna be real active on. It's gonna be in the comment section as well. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into the whole situation and see what's going on. With they dumb ass, how you gonna park the car over there? It's slow. There it is, y'all. Mm mm mm. Dummies. They stupid as hell. Why right would you burn it up or something? Now, this you supposed to get on this first way when I did. Mm -hmm. They asked out of there. There it is, y'all. What y'all think? Y'all think this did or no? Back so y'all can see. I need to see the other side though. I think it's it. Fred, don't be shouting out nobody on this page. So I'm gonna tell it all. Yeah, I think that's it. I am not MPD. I sell canned apples and I work at a gastro clinic, so I can't confirm it, but y'all yeah. see what y'all own ass. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, y'all see it. Can I get off of it now? I'm shy. I need to see the other side, man. This is all a legend. I don't know if this is it. I'll try to get it child when they pull out, but I can't. This might just all in my, my camera. I'll um, <laughs> try to see when they pull out, depending on which way they go. If they go to a Baron or to a Kimball. Them folks ain't over there for nothing. Trust me. Y'all talking about don't go. Baby, I am not married purpose. I don't work for uh, whatever channel she on. Well, if y'all want to see the other side, baby, y'all got to come on over here. <laughs> Straight up. That's it, though. I'm pretty sure. It won't be all over the internet like this.
They pulling off with it. There you go. The white band, y'all. I can't tell. The other one looks so damn raggedy. Pulling off with it. Long little dog, man. They didn't paint it or nothing. Come just on, man. It. Get the fuck out the way, dude. In that truck, man. You know the fuck you doing, man. <laughs> Straight up. What a car, y'all. Yeah, right with these niggas. They pull right in front of them, nigga. This is too much shit going on around the car for not to be it. I wasn't in the store. We just basically, thank you. Basically, uh. Okay, this is the cookie shops. No, I, I forgot the name of it. The one doctor got shot at, this is like their daughter or something like that. I don't know. Y'all been sending me so much shit here, I can't even keep up. We finna find out right now, though. Let's see what's going on. We just got a phone call from my dad. He was in the store. He's one of the owners. And uh, he just told us that somebody was shot. We didn't know who it was at first. You know, we was just like, okay. I thought it was, you know, one of the employees. So we was kind of distraught at the time. But, you know, we heard my cousin in the background, you know, he was just basically like, man, he gone, somebody shot him, he gone. And I'm like, who gone? You know, we just trying to figure out what was going on. And then you could hear my dad, you know, he was just like, stay with me, dog, just stay with me, bro. You know, he kept saying it. So that's when we was like, okay, it was dog. So it was, it was kind of, it was real fast. He said it was, my, my dad was just like, it was real fast. It was a real quick situation. So we, we real hurt by it. Uh, he was a real, you know, good dude. He came to the store all the time, you know, when he, when he was in Memphis, McHugh was one of his stops, you know, so it's, uh, it's really turning us down a little bit. We just, we pray for the family, you know, it's, it's a senseless tragedy. We just really want them to know that we back 100% and um, we just really want, you know, we really just wish this would just stop. This is just too much for us, you know. So it's really, it's affecting our family now. Cause we do consider dog, you know, anytime you walk into there, you know, walk to McKee's, you consider family. When dog came here, he was considered family. He called my mama, mom, every time she came in, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's hurting us a little bit. So we just, just. Were you, so your dad, your, you were on the phone with your dad when it happened? I was on, it wasn't when it happened. It was right after, he called us like directly after, you know, the, the shots were fired and Dolph was hit. And you can hear him saying, Dolph, stay with me. Yeah, we heard him say that, and he was just, man, it's, it's hard. Everyone's talking about how much he loved Nikita. He so. did. He did. A lot. He was, uh, my, I got a video with him. He was telling us, you know, saying, every time I come here, I can't I can't leave without getting some chocolate chip. And you're like, fresh out the oven. This is this, this. So, chocolate chip and ice cream was his favorite. So, um. Oh, yeah, wow. we gonna. Was it inside the store or right outside? Well, from what I was hearing, it was inside the store. It was inside the store, so you know it's yeah. What so we hearing? just um, we just been standing here just hoping that you know, cause my mom wanna you know see what's going on. She just you know, we just want people to know that we we hurting for them. We hurting about this. We hurt. So we just want the we want everybody to know. We want the family to know. You know we. We love Dolph. He was he was a part of our family. We really yeah. appreciate him coming in, you know, in the store supporting us anytime he can. So whatever the family need, you know what I'm saying? Just we just want them to know we here. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. A lot of y'all were sending me stuff saying that this lady right here was involved with it. You know what I'm saying? Saying that she set him up and all that different type of stuff, man. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm going off strictly facts and when it comes to stuff like this, because these, like I said before, these are people's lives that we were speaking on. You feel me? So it really ain't no way that you can just sit out here and just throw any type of false narrative out there. You know, a lot of people can say this and say that and get this woman harmed as well. You feel me? But I honestly don't feel like that they will mess up an opportunity dealing with a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's a celebrity over a few thousand dollars when we're just keeping him coming in and him doing little promotions and stuff like that that's enough you never know you know then you already know he's throwing them extra bread every time he go in there the cookies probably cost two or three dollars he's giving them a hundred two hundred dollars you feel me so yeah man ain't no reason to be throwing false narratives out there like that but like i said before man uh this is somebody's father you feel me somebody's dad somebody's son all of the above so i don't see how people can sit out here and just throw all these false narratives out but like i said before you know people really just don't have nothing else to do with this youtube stuff so they, just gotta, they gotta throw out false narratives yeah i think a lot of people don't even get attention unless they got a lie you know and the, and the lie is always more entertaining anyway so that's what people go for you know but uh yeah man rp the dog i just hated it happened like this but i honestly feel like when, when good people die 
You know what I'm saying? Not all the time, but a lot of the times, man, they always get justice in some type of way. So, yeah, man. For, um, yeah, they, his, his wife had issues statements. She, she said she didn't even know how she was going to be able to tell her children that their dad would never come home. When, when I read that, bro, and I just thought about it and let it process, man, that's a lot of stuff to go through, bro. Real talk. And I, my condolences to his family and to anybody else who have lost a parent, a brother, son, anything. You feel me? My condolences to y'all as well because I know that shit can be traumatic. Especially having children, you know, and they got, they got to witness certain things and people sitting out here throwing false allegations and different things like that. I know they can be real, real overwhelming over time. And like I was saying, man, I don't understand why so many people are trying to, like, say Dolph was wrong for doing this and wrong for doing that, man. Like I said before in my last video, the only reason why I'm repeating some of this stuff because I know new people come every single day of the week. So I got to say certain things over and over sometimes. But, you know what I'm saying, people were saying that uh, he was crazy for going back home. Listen, man, it's hard as hell to leave your family behind. You know what I'm saying? You want to feel that energy, that love that, that, that your city has and your family have, you know? When you grew up in a certain way, you know what I'm saying, around certain people, you're going to want to be around them. And like I said before, a lot of these people, man, they don't want to follow you just because you got something. Your parents are not here for your money all the time. You know what I'm saying? They probably want a little bit here and there, but overall, they're not going to just be up your tail following you everywhere you go trying to get some of your money. You know what I'm saying? They got a life that they want to live. They don't want to just follow you. They want to stay where they are. And a lot of people be stuck in their ways. You know, they don't want to go everywhere else besides their city. Like I said, bro, they know that people get killed. They just witness other people's grandmothers and grandfathers get killed. Honey, honey come brazy, you feel me? I'm pretty sure that they saw that as well. And they still don't want to move. Some people will take the consequences of whatever comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Versus just getting out of their comfort zone. They'll just go ahead and take the consequences. And I respect it. I understand that. You should do what you want to do, but at the same time, you should be smart about it as well. But, you know, I feel like they don't have nothing to worry about now since they got Doc out the way, which is sad to say, but it is what it is. I want to know what y'all feel about the whole situation. And like I said before, man, you already know somebody had to tell. This is just one spontaneous right here. They call was over there, so I'm pretty sure somebody called immediately as soon as they seen it. And you better believe there's cameras everywhere all over the neighborhood that can pinpoint who these people are or what kind of car they got in after that or anything, you feel me? And if that is the vehicle, it's not parked on the side of the house for nothing. Trust me, you feel me? Somebody that they know lives there or something like that. I just honestly feel like if you're going to be out here trying to do shit like this, if you feel like you're really thugging out here, you're a murderer and stuff like that, you're supposed to know what you're doing. You're supposed to burn the car up. All the evidence will be burnt up just like that. But, you know, they got fingerprints. They got blunts somewhere. All type of little shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Old food, french fries. And all they're going to do is take that shit and get the DNA out for it. And they're going to find your ass, you know? So, yeah, man. Y'all better lay low out there. But it's going to go down regardless here. You know, you can't run too far. Especially if you ain't got no real money like that. And you already know that they don't have no bread. To go out here and kill somebody like this, they broke as hell. Whatever type of little change that they offer them, little $50,000, $60,000, that ain't worth nothing, man. Especially to take a life. Especially when this man was a multi-millionaire and he was using his money for the community. You know what I'm saying? They said he owned over 100 properties. I'm pretty sure a lot of them people weren't even paying rent sometimes. You feel me? He didn't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Just out the, out the strength of his city. You know, love for uh, Memphis. But uh, yeah, I ain't got too much more to say about this, man. It's just some breaking news right here. I will get into more details about the whole situation. But as much mm -hmm. as things are being found out right now, at this rate right here, I'll be talking about something else pretty soon. So, but yeah, man, I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, I really don't give a damn. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. All right. Hey, you to get some wood. Oh, Oh, you don't want mommy to comb your hair, you want daddy to comb your hair. Yeah. It's just, he's just a great man, man. He just do a lot for our community. Man, he do a lot for the neighborhood, for the kids. He helps a lot of kids. And hey, man, he was a great guy, man. He was a rapper, but still he was in, uh, he had a great side, man. He was a great guy, great young man, man.